What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Well, welcome to your first time here. Well, my video yesterday got some great feedback, but also got some negative feedback. This video right here is what I'm talking about, what's going on at our northern border. And I was talking about the fact that we have people coming across the border on the south and in the north. There's a lot more in the south coming across, but there's still some in the north. That number is growing. And I got some feedback on that and some negative feedback, some people wanting to argue, but one stood out because he claimed that I was stupid. I didn't know what I was talking about. I was an ignorant hillbilly. And, you know, usually I don't worry about these trolls and these negative comments and things. I just delete and ban these people and move on. However, sometimes, you know, I want to address what they say because... Some people might see those comments and think the same thing or think they are telling or what they're saying in the comments is actually fact when it actually is it or it's twisted, manipulated facts that will lead people to believe something that isn't true. I want my viewers here to have the facts the best I can present those facts, and I don't want them being swayed by people in the comments that are putting out false information trying to sway public opinion whether it's a troll or a bot or whatever but that person said that i was crazy and what i was talking about i was a ignorant hillbilly that illegals didn't get didn't qualify for any federal help like food stamps housing medicaid and things like that and technically technically if you want to get really technical about it they were correct however the people coming across, you know, the southern border and getting processed through, getting their paperwork and getting their court date set for three, four years later, those people aren't here illegally after that because of the way the laws are working. They come through, they get processed, shipped into the U.S., and then they're technically not illegals. They're refugees and asylees and things like that. But this over here... It's from the National Immigration Law Center, and this is a PDF you can download, and it tells exactly who qualifies for what. All these benefits down through here, as you can see, are from the federal government. Last revised, March 2023, this table provides an overview of immigrant eligibility for the major federal public assistance programs. Download it by clicking on the PDF icon at the right, and we'll look at that here just in a minute. The programs listed. In the table are the following. This is some things that they can qualify for. Supplemental Security Income, SSI. Supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, SNAP, which is food stamps. Temporary Assistance for Needy Families. Emergency Medicaid includes labor and delivery. So they come over here and they're pregnant. They get their, they have their babies. The baby's a citizen. They stay forever. And it's paid for by the taxpayer. Full Scope Medicaid Children's Health Insurance program chip uh medicare premium free part one hospitalization eligibility based on work history premium buy-in medicare hud public housing and section 8 programs title xx xx block grants social security other federal public benefits subject to welfare laws restrictions benefits exempt from welfare laws restrictions and it says down through here some states provide assistance to immigrants who are not eligible for federally funded services. So if the feds at the federal level don't give them assistance, then the states, some of the states will step in and give them even more assistance. Key terms used in the table include the following. Qualified immigrants are lawful permanent residents, refugees, asylees, persons granted Withholdings of deportation, removal, conditional entry, or paroled into the U.S. for at least a year, Cuban, Haitian entrants, battered spouses and children with a pending or approval, self-petition for an immigration visa, and all done through here is all kinds of exemptions where you can qualify for some or all of this right here. You can look over here. This is the actual PDF that I downloaded. You can see here. Who is eligible for what? If you read down through here, a lot of the people crossing over are eligible for a lot of this, if not most of this, and it's taxpayer funded. And it's like I said in the video, this is the Cloward and Piven strategy to crash the United States. So they bring in socialism and then 
communism or in other words this great reset they're bringing the third world here the crash united states down to the third world type status type country you know economically poverty crime rates to the roof rape murder whatever you get more people people get more desperate crime goes up robbery goes up desperation goes up and it leads to all kinds of things but to say that illegals aren't eligible for any benefits here in the u.s like food stamps is technically right however like i said they come across the border they get processed when they come across the border they get their paperwork they get released into the u.s and then they're here legally awaiting trial so they qualify for a lot of this you can read down through here Supplemental Security Income, SSI, and you can see on through here who is, who is uh, eligible. Uh, supplemental Nutritional Assistance Program, SNAP, eligible, blah, blah, blah. Down through here you can see are under age 18 or granted asylum or refugee status, withholding of the deportation, blah, 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 have been qualified, immigrant status for five years. On through here you can see eligible only if, eligible only if, and pretty much everyone that comes through is eligible for just about everything depending on how they want to work the system. You can see down through here, more, 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 and this gives a good overview, and it's easy to follow in this table to show everyone what, you know, what they're eligible for. See, so down here is uh, HUD Public Housing in Section 8. Eligible except certain Cuban Haitian entrants if at least one member of the household is eligible based on immigration status, the family may reside in the housing. So if only one is eligible, then the whole family can move in. Eligible except, blah, 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 blah. Eligible only if, down through here, da, 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 da. Certain Ukrainian parlees. And I, I mean, it's, if you look at this, they're eligible for a whole lot. And that person who said that illegals didn't qualify for anything, like I said, it's technically right. But once they come across the border, they get processed through, get their paperwork done, they're pretty much eligible for just about everything that American citizen is eligible for. Someone born here is actually eligible for as far as the benefits goes, assistance and things goes, like food stamps, public housing, medical care, and things like that. They get more... They can get more than, them, you know, a United States citizen can that was born here in this country. They come over here, and it just, <laughs> it's amazing that people hear something on, you know, the mainstream media, for example, or a politician say something, illegals aren't allowed to get any benefits. But it's common sense. And it says so right here. When they come across the border, they get processed through and sent into the U.S., and they qualify for these benefits or a vast majority of these benefits so know what's actually going on and know the truth and don't believe everything you read in comments i can be wrong myself i've been wrong before however i try my best to be correct and to do research and to find out for sure and if i make a mistake you know i'll come back on here and i will post in the community section that i did send out a newsletter post it on my website pen it a pinned comment and even say so in a future follow-up video i try to give out good information the best i can i'm a one-man show i don't have a staff what you see here is just me and what you get however you know i can be wrong but it's very very seldom because i try my best to get the facts straight before i make these videos and like i said as soon as if i do make a mistake as soon as i realize that i will let you all know about that and that person who was posting or that troll or that bot that illegals didn't get any benefits, didn't qualify for any benefits, was trying to sway the opinion. They were technically correct. However, they weren't correct because illegals don't really, you know, illegal comes across the border and isn't processed. The ones that come across now, they're getting processed. I think it's like 250000 per month on average. Coming across the border, getting processed through, getting their paperwork, getting their trial dates and sent into the United States. And then they qualify for a lot of this down through here that you and I pay for. And like I said in the video yesterday, it is the cloud and piven strategy to crash the economy, to put a 
more and more strain and burden on the economy on the taxpayer to have more and more national debt and just like they're shipping all this you know with weapons and money and things to ukraine and no doubt some that's coming back over here to certain people it's a nice little money laundering scheme for some of these people and it all goes on the national debt the taxpayers are supposed to pay that which they never will but they will pay it through inflation because there's more currency causes more inflation and you spend more so they're pretty much robbing you know the american people through inflation they're crashing it on purpose it is this whole thing the open border policy and everything is all part of the great reset and people will say when you mentioned about they are doing this they say well who is they who are they you never say who they are i said who they are a whole bunch but it only takes you know a few minutes of research to find out who they are they come out and write books you know the great reset klaus swab give you his whole agenda right there in the book look on their websites they tell you what they're doing this open border is part of that. You have to crash the United States down, crash the economy because you want to bring in this great reset, this new digital central bank digital currencies to control everyone's social credit score systems. It's all part of the great reset, everything we're seeing now. And people argue the fact, and when it's right in front of their face, and you try to tell people the truth and show them the facts, and they still don't won't accept it i mean it's amazing to me and i'm sure there'll be someone comment on this video and come out and say you're wrong they're not eligible for anything when it right here it shows that they are and what they're eligible for download the pdf look at this and see what they're eligible for a whole lot i'll link to this in the description box below you can check this out yourself and like i said it's from national immigration law center and the pdf is right here click that Download this PDF and you can see here who qualifies, who doesn't qualify. And it all depends on how they want to write it up and what they want to call themselves when they come across. They get processed, get their paperwork, brought into the U.S. and they're here illegally. Or they're here legally then, supposedly. They're not illegals. So they qualify for a lot of these benefits that you and I pay for, the taxpayers pay for. Anyway, if you liked the video, give it a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching. And if you're more matter, I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully.